right, we're going to Ashley in Oklahoma City. Hey, Ashley, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Good. What's going on? Well, earlier this year, my husband and I found out that my mother-in-law had taken credit cards and loans out in his name that oh. he had no idea about. Um, what? We know that because we, we, got, we got our first mortgage and we had a crazy interest rate. And they had called me, and a credit card had been turned over to collection. We talked to her about it and, you know, asked her to buckle down and pay it. And she's not, I mean, she's giving us the minimum payment, but that's all we're getting. And any time we try to talk to her about it, it's, oh, poor pitiful me. And I don't know what to do. Okay. Okay. Let's back up here. <laughs> so first of all, <laughs> first of all, Playing the victim is a strategy. It's called manipulation. So I don't care if she's your mom, my mom, anybody's mom. doesn't matter that she's a sweet little mother-in-law or mother. That's manipulative. Incredibly. It's also theft. That was theft. Yeah. Identity theft. So again, even if you're related, it doesn't change the fact that it's illegal and not okay right. at all in any way. So um, Ashley, I don't know. If you do this or your husband does this, I would say he would need to do it, but you can tell me whether or not this is realistic. But there needs to be a conversation, mm -hmm. a very different conversation that looks like this. You pay it off or I'm turning you in for identity theft. Yes. Has that happened? That's, that is the conversation. I've tried to push him to that, but he seems to be taking it a little easy on her. Yeah, it's you his think? mom. How much That's money are we talking about? Um, the personal loan was 10000 and then about another four or five in credit cards. And her excuse was, I did it to help you guys. <laughs> okay. Well, I got to know more. What do you mean she did it to help? What, what, what was it for? What was the money spent on that's supposed to help you um, all? Nothing. Literally nothing. Okay. We you're... are very self-sufficient. We take care of ourselves. Okay. Your husband, your husband needs to grow a pair. It's time. Where's the hus Where's the dad in this situation? Just say it, Ken. Just say um, it. he's on the road, so he really he didn't realize this was going on. But okay, so um, so this is a family. Listen, I hate that you're even calling. Um, I hope you maybe maybe show your husband this call. I'd like to speak to him for a moment. What's his name? His name's Bo. Bo, oh, where are you, Bo? Okay, so I'm going to talk to Bo for a second, and you can get today's YouTube show, and you can uh, get it right to this point. Bo, here's the deal, man. Your wife's got more guts than you do, and your mom is a, is is in a is in a very unhealthy place, and you're allowing it to happen, and it is affecting your life and your marriage, and this needs to be dealt with. I think Christy's right. I go with her and say, Mom, Dad, fix it now, pay it off now, or I'm turning you in. But, you're, but you don't have the guts to do that, Bo. And so here's what's going to happen. Because you're afraid to be a man and talk to mommy and tell her that what she did was wrong, you're going to end up having such sick toxicity and resentment toward her because this is never going to go away. And your dad has, has the same problem you have. Neither one of you, you or your dad, have got what it takes you just don't because you'd have done something by now and you need to grow a pair both of you maybe you share the pair and you talk and sit down and get this handle because this is bad they need to fix it and i think the time for talking is over ashley i'm sorry i i, I i'm sorry you had to call in the conversation needs to go like this pay it off by this date or we're turning you in and Amen. then when that date comes turn her in and follow through. This is illegal and insanely manipulative. And the more you allow it to happen, the more it is on you. Don't let it happen. Fix it.